What's going on guys? It is Monster Shark Gaming here and welcome back to the channel. So, today I have a special video for you guys. I'm actually making a video for my computer and I don't I don't do that too too often. Uh, I actually haven't really done it much at all. Like I'm using the capture card. Um, talked to Elgato. There's a bunch of problems with the capture card. I finally got it all fixed up. I plan on bringing you guys more computer gaming content eventually. I don't have the greatest gaming PC, so... I'll bring whatever I can, um, but software was uh, nice enough to send me a free copy of WMMA5, and I, I really enjoyed 3. I played w, uh, w, w, <laughs> WMMA3 uh, for a while, and I really enjoyed it, and then when I heard about 5 coming out now, and I was like, oh, uh, I'm probably going to end up buying that, and then I was, like, debating whether I wanted to buy it or not, and they just straight up hit me up with an email saying, like, copy, you know, we'll send you a review copy, just make a video on it, that's all we ask. And I was like, hell yeah, absolutely. So I got everything figured out, and I'm going to start off by being on this card, and I'm going to explain a lot of things um, uh, after we do this card here real quick. So I set up a match here on Saturday, the first week of March 2018. Uh, it's just a free fight card. Uh, UFC on Fox. I don't know how you set up pay-per-views and stuff. I'm still like dabbling into it. Uh, and if you go look at the prelims, I only have four fights instead of five I can do on the main card. And that's because Artem Lobov. I was having Artem Lobov fight uh, Mursad Bektich. And Lobov actually ended up getting hurt. Even though like he recovered before fight night, like I couldn't like switch the opponent for Mursad Bektich. So I had to like straight up cancel the fight. Like There was nothing I could do about it. I don't, I don't know why, but, like, I couldn't get a last-minute replacement or anything in there. Um, so, this is the fire card we got. There's our prelims, and then our main card there. Rafael Desanio and Colby Covington. Uh, in the main event, winner will be the clear contender for Tyra Woodley's welterweight title. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to watch the entire card. Show you guys how this works if you don't know already. Watch all. Ooh, watch all. Why is it not letting me? Do I have to click the fight? Oh, what the fuck? Picture updated. Joe Hank Calder. What the hell? Why did it do that? I gotta go fix Joe Hank Calderwood now. Because I, I have a mod that, uh, I'm awful at making mods or not making mods but uh at setting them and stuff where the hell is joey and Calder? Well, there she is fix her picture back up you can't go crazy on the pick on the clicking yeah look at this it's not it's not working um yeah i i straight up cannot watch the fight oh continue i don't know why those two options were there then all right so I, I put this in ohio as you can see i made this card in ohio and it shows you like the records and stuff they have like the correct records it's a very up-to-date uh a very up-to-date mod it's only like a couple weeks behind which is pretty goddamn impressive um yes yeah, so let's go ahead get into this here Time is main eventing a USC show for the eighth time. See, look how detailed that is. That's pretty crazy. Number three versus number seven. The rankings like are wonky. Like for some reason, like it shows here, like Covington's ranked number seven, even though it, you know it even said like he's coming off as one against Maya. You no, know, like, the rankings are definitely off. But that's that's okay. Look at the, you got staff picks from Blur Cat, <laughs> and you know they're showing like reviews for. All the main card fights. Oh, and the prelim fights, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead. And, yeah, they'll get right into the next fight here. Calderwood and Calvillo. And the game's currently loading, so we got to wait. Here we go. All right, so this looks a little different from WBMMA3. It looks a lot cleaner. I love the, like, the blue on the left and the red on the right. That's really, really cool looking. Um, Alright, so we open the prelims to Joanne Calderwood. 
battling Cynthia Calvillo. It's like a text-based, like, it's it's all text-based. There's no sound, so if you guys aren't hearing sound from the game, that's why it's just, there's zero sound in the game. Right, I'm Saki's the ref. Oh, they're in trouble. <laughs> they're in trouble. They have the judges, and the fight begins. So they stand trade in the center of the cage. So it shows you, like, the little play-by-play and stuff. And, like, I have the commentators as Jimmy Smith, John Anik, and Joe Rogan. So I've got three-person commentary team. Just moving and engage. Soft target with the left jab, but hits a kick to the lead leg. Or uses a left jab, but can't hit a right cross. Just come forward and engage. Cutter misses a right hook and gets countered with a left jab and a good right hand. Retreating. Cal- oh, Calderwood looks punk drunk. Be in big trouble. She's covering up best she can, but is unsteady on her feet. Whoa. Yeah, Cal Vila's not even a striker. She's a great jiu-jitsu artist. She's beating up Cal- uh, Calderwood on the feet. He's a great striker. That throws a head kick. Look. Calderwood absorbs the power with the with her raised arms. And Calderwood half slumps against the cage. Oh, man. Calderwood takes a head kick, but does not hurt. So you're like, whoa, that's crazy. Calderwood steps back, wobbly, is left. Oh my god, yo, she got rocked bad. <laughs> she drops a huge right hook, but Calderwood avoids it. Circles back to the center, having got the time she needs to regain her wits somewhat. Fighters engage. Calderwood misses the right cross. Yeah, look at this. This is nuts, man. Calderwood misses badly with the right. Roundhouse gets in a body and gets counter with a left jab and a big right hand that just misses. Alright, nothing lands there. Also misses the roundhouse kick. Cavillo apparently has great head movement here. Past halfway mark of the round. See, I'm not gonna try to take too too much time in this. I'm gonna just try to point out like some some big stuff here. We got one minute in the round. Oh, hold on, Cavillo goes for a takedown. Calderwood's still standing there against the cage. Tries for another takedown. There we go. She got the takedown. See, it's just like down here. It'd be like, that's, that's like the big thing that happened. Like, oh, a takedown happened. You know, stuff like that. All right, we're at the end of the round, though, and that's going to be the end of the round. Calvillo, yeah, I was about to say, Calvillo's definitely got that round based on how that went. Here you go, round two. They come together and strike. See here, take down attempt again. Still on her feet though. Another takedown attempt. This time she got it. All right. View tries to lock. Called her in an arm triangle. Nope, couldn't get it. She's going for another attempt. Oh, she can't. She just can't get it. Go for her naked choke. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, right before she was about to tap out the round at Cavio got that round again. All right. Third round here. Let's see if anything big happens. See, like, like I played TEW as well. Like, I have TEW 20-something. TEW 2014, I think, or something. I can't remember which one I have. And that's a lot of fun, too, because you can make your own storylines for wrestling and stuff. Yeah, it seems like they're just too tired uh, to fight. Like, they're just throwing some stuff. It's so not really hitting and stuff. All right, round ends. It goes to decision. Yeah, it looks like they're going to give her a 30-27. Yep. Cavio won. Damn, she, she dominated that fight. Like, that third round was kind of close, but first two rounds, like, Cavio clearly won. Uh, yes, we'd like to continue with the, fish, with the show. So you get to see how like the how the fight works. We're going to go ahead and next fight. Rustam Kabilov versus Ally Aquina. It's a lightweight fight. All right. Let's get it. Yeah, everybody made weight for the f- fight card as well. Risk getting hit so that you can grapple. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Yo, it's been 10 seconds. Kabilov has a huge cut, I guess. Jesus Christ. Kabilov going for a takedown. Oh, suplexes Iaquina. That's wild. Oh, shit. He already got his back. Going for a rear naked choke. Nope, nope, nope. Could not get the rear naked choke. He's going for another one. Still not letting it go. He's just going for another rear naked choke. Oh, he's got it. And he taps out. Kabilov submits Iaquina in the first round. That's pretty wild. 
Wow. Fight was rated as good. I didn't see what the first fight was rated as. I would assume pretty decent, though. So they said the fight was good. That's cool. That's cool. Well, hold on. You thanks Kavilov, praises his team at Jackson Wink MMA, his various sponsors, and the fans who came out to support him. Is good in these interviews and knows how to sell himself. Awesome. Look at that. That's cool. I didn't even know they did uh, post fight interviews. I wonder if that's new. I don't think that was in WMMA, WMMA three. I think that's I think that's new. Like I didn't play four at all, so I don't know what they've improved from that one. All right, so let's let's get it. Jared Robinson. That begins. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Pat Cummins versus Elir Latifi. Damn, this man going for a takedown right away. <laughs> See, let's see. I'm going to try to skip through until we see, like, um, something at the bottom. See, look, take it, take down attempt. Cummins going for another takedown. Yeah, he couldn't get it, though. All right. Let's see. Hold on. One second. Let me reposition myself here. All right, Cummins going for another takedown. Yeah, he just haven't been able to get that takedown yet. We're going to the second round. Oh, they give that to Latifi, though. All right. Oh, shit. Hold on. Cummins backs off. That's against the cage. Days but alert. Enough to know her she can cover up. Oh, shit. Latifi's trying to get him. Oh, he got him. He got him. Gets caught by a big left hook and is out before he hits the ground. Wow, Latifi. 42 seconds in the second round. They gave it a good rating. That's cool. That's cool. Hold on. Thanks, everyone. Connected to S4 Fight Club. Help him prepare for this fight. Then his sponsors first. Supporting him financially. It's our respect for Cummins. Raises his toughness. Awesome. Awesome. Cool interview. Cool interview. All right. So this is our uh, main prelim. Our main prelim fight here. This is Stefan Skyscraper Struve taking on Marcin Tavira. All right, let's do it. Touch gloves. We're, again, we're just looking for the big events real quick. I don't want to take too, too much time on this. All right. So far, haven't seen anything gigantic. Oh, hold on, takedown. Struve pulls guard. Oh, he's going for a guillotine right now. He's five, but holds on. Not tap. All right, Struve eventually lets go. Okay, he let go of the guillotine. That's the end of the first round. They're giving it in favor of Struve there. All right. Oh, another takedown attempt. Tabira. Be able to block the takedown. Another takedown attempt, though. Oh, this time from Tavira. Doesn't get it. Strew blocked an attempt to move him. Tavira tries to reap a leg with a sharp sweep and rush into the floor. Oh, he got it. Tries to finish Strew off with a re naked choke. That'd be wild. Nope, couldn't get it. All right. He's going for another one. Nope, nope, couldn't get it. Jesus Christ. He's, he's trying for. Oh, no. Wow, Tibura submits Stefan Struve. That's crazy. I would never have thought that happened. Because a name check to everyone at United Gym, all his various sponsors, and all his fans, family, and supporters. Who do you like to fight next? The answer is that you think a fight against Alexander Volkov would probably be a great contest. I might just give him that. Look at that. You got Tim Elliott taking on Brandon Moreno. This should be a fun fight. I'm glad this is the main card now. We're on the main card. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and have this flyweight fight go underway. Yeah, I'm thinking that this will be a close one. All right, nothing huge yet. I'll take down a 10 for Moreno. Go for another takedown attempt. Elliot. Oh. He goes. Brandon Moreno got it. Moreno got the takedown. That's the end of the round. All right, they're giving Moreno that first round. At least the commentators are. All right. Let's see who wins.
wins this fight. And end of the second round. Yeah, I was seeing like they were like exchanging a lot, but like nobody got rocked or anything. Alright, they're engaging. <laughs> Look at that, it just keeps saying, yeah, they, they keep engaging. That's crazy. Oh, Moreno going for a takedown. He got it. Elliot's a crafty guy, though. He could definitely pull something off his back. Doesn't look like they'll have enough time to. That's the end of the round. It right, looks like Moreno's going to take it. 29-28 to Moreno. Oh, it's a split decision. And Moreno gets a split decision. He's going to move up in the rankings. Room fight was re being rated as good. I don't know. They, they really hyped up that second round. Thanks for sponsoring all his fans. He praised Elliot for a tough or Elliot for a tough fight. Here's my performance from a very good talker. Awesome. Sweet. So far, fight card's going well. I uh, Uriah Hall versus Leon Machida. This will be a very, very interesting fight. I'd like to see this one in real life next. Yeah, I, I booked all these fights, by the way. Like I, I made the fight card. Like, I'll show you guys how to do all that and stuff after the card's over. And I'll explain some more things, you know. You know, Machida's not an aggressive striker. He'll wait for his opportunity. Uriah Hall's definitely a way more aggressive guy than he is. All right. End of the first round. We're giving it 10-9 Machida. All right. Let's see here. Oh, shit. Hold on. Blood's visible on Hall. A strike looks to have opened a cut under his eye. Okay, okay. So Machida gave your eye hall a little cut. Let's see. Oh, oh, sh oh. Machida launched launched the heck of that. Oh man, he's down. One minute left in the fight. Yeah, Hall is hurt. She pounds away. Hall is barely able to offer any defense at all. Referee is forced to jump in and stop the fight. It's over. Leona Machida with the late second round TKO over Uriah Hall. That's crazy. Let's see uh, what the interview is. Let's see what he says. Machida gives a name check to everyone in Switzerland, Kings and Males. Here are your sponsors, friends, family, and supporters. To fight next. He wants to fight Luke Rockhold. He wants to fight Luke Rockhold next. Someone that's already beaten him before. That's pretty crazy. He wants to get that rematch in, I guess. All right, John Lineker versus Thomas Almeida. This should be a, this should be a banger. This should be a fucking banger. All right, two fighters touch gloves. Let's do it. Yeah, these two are both brawlers, both crazy good strikers. All right, all right. Just a lot of striking here. Incredibly close round. Yeah, the uh, commentators think Almeida just barely won that round. Right. I'm trying not to like skip through like the big parts because I know in the Machida fight like I missed the first event which was like apparently the rock of your eye hall. So I'm trying to keep a close eye out but at the same time I'm trying to like speed it up so it's not too long of a video for you guys. Oh man beautiful right uppercut. Oh shit Lineker falls down. Oh man he's trying to finish him. Wow, Almeida almost finished Lineker at the end of that round. He's going to lose this fight if he goes to the judges. He needs to finish this final round. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Almeida needs to just make sure he doesn't get finished, according to the commentators. He just needs to make sure that he doesn't get finished. Yep, that's it. That's the end of the fight. Yeah, they think they clearly got it to Almeida. One, ju one judge gave that first round to Lineker then. Yep, Almeida gets the the win. Unanimous decision. Let's see. Interview. Gets praise to his team, his fans. He wants to fight Brian Caraway. Interesting. He wants to fight Brian Caraway. You know, that'd be interesting. Striker versus grappler matchup, pretty much. You know, Caraway, great jiu-jitsu artist. All right. Our co-main event of the evening. Holly Holm and Juliana Pena. 
the women's bandwidth division. Let's get it. This is another like striker versus grappler situation here. And he has a great ground specialist. Holmes, a great boxer. She's got some great kicks, too. Take down a tent. Oh, she got it. It's bad for Holly. Holm. There's not that much time left in the round. All right. They give that to, to Holm, actually. Pena goes for a takedown immediately, and she gets it. Man, got home down early. Let's see. Can she get anything here? Home box Pena. She transitions the guard. And they're saying it's a very close round, but they give it to Pena again. Or at this time, not again. All right. Let's see. Third and final round. Uh, it doesn't seem like any significance happened in the fight, really. Hasn't been the most exciting fight, I guess. No one's gotten a rock. No one's gone for a submission. There's another takedown attempt for the end of the round. Oh, she got it. She got to take down at the last second to give it to Pena. All right, so decision. Oh, it's a split decision. Wow. They give it to Holly Holm. Wow, yeah, that second round apparently was too close. Like, uh, that was a controversial decision. They get, uh, The commentators at least thought home on the first round. Uh, they thought uh, Pena won the third round for sure, too. So it was kind of like the question was the second round. They said it was very close, but they gave it to Pena. But only one judge gave it to Pena. So Holly Holm with a controversial decision. It seems like every fight's being rated good. That's interesting. Supporter, she says that she has a lot of respect for Juliana. There's their toughness. Home really has real star power. Okay. All right, main event time. No more contenders fight, I'm saying, right here. Because I'm the man that books it all. All right, Colby Covington and Rafael Dos Anjos. Let's see. Main event. There's the offer of a touch close. Of course he does. Of course, Covington refuses to touch gloves. All right. They are striking, which is interesting. I would think Co Covington would try to cut. Oh, hold on. Covington got a cut there. Yeah, if I was Covington, I'd definitely try to take down Rafael. There he goes. Covington looks for a takedown. He got it. Got the takedown. Oh, Covington going for a choke. Oh, shit. Six before the round ends. Oh, man. Time's up. Man, apparently he was like really close to getting that choke. Dos Anjos won the round, though. Covington tries to stop the bleeding of Covington. Jesus. All right. Dos Anjos. Definitely going to want to try to keep this standing. He almost got submitted. Oh, oh, Covington got the takedown. Oh, he's immediately going for that neck. The guillotine choke. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Rafael was going for the guillotine as he got taken down. All right, that is the end of the round. They're going for Covington there. All right, third and final round. Let's – or actually, I think this should be five rounds because it's a main event, but I don't know if that's how this game works or not. All right, they're against the cage. Round ends there too to nine to Covington. Yep, yep, it's, it's five rounds. All right, cool. I'm glad that they did that. Oh, shit, Covington. Covington got hurt. Colby Covington got hurt. Let's go away from the cage. All right, looks like he's recovered. Yeah, apparently Covington's recovered enough to gain control against the cage. All right, they are striking. Is it pinning? Oh, you got the signings against the cage there, and oh. Apparently, Tosanya's looking tired. Giving it to Covington. Yeah, commentators think uh, Tosanya needs to finish now. Covington won the third and fourth round in the their eyes. He's going for a takedown. 
Oh, hold on. He's up against the cage. Let's see what Covington can do here. I don't know. This might go to decision. Take down attempt. He got it. See the short punches. And that's it. End of the fight. Yeah, they think they're giving it 49-46 there. You have one says 40. Two say 48-47. One says 49-46. That's it. Colby Covington gets the decision over Rafael Dos Anjos. Getting rocked real bad in the, I think it was the second round. I'm not sure. But he's still able to win the fight. Let's see what he says. He's probably going to say some crazy shit. Top team. All right. Interviewer asks who you like to fight. He wants to fight GSP next. Wow. This next fighter that he will defeat. But I'm going to try to get him to fight Woodley next. All right. So card here. Let's see. Um. Off pay per view. <laughs> this is, ain't even pay per view, my guy. Um. All right. Gate almost got six hundred ninety thousand. Broadcast team, as you can see. Can I? Can I? Can I look at it? Here. Joe Rogan, John Anik, and Jimmy Smith. All right. So every fight was good on the main card. What about that first prelim fight? Because that's the only one I didn't see. Oh, one was great. Hold on. Yeah, Hall and Machida was great actually. Every other fight was good. That's that's a good card. All right, I'll take it. Oh, popularity increased everywhere. Oh, except for Canada, it decreased for some reason. And these two places are uh, unchanged. So not bad at all. Uh, what's oh, fight of the night was Machida in Hall. Oh, do I get to choose? Oh shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess since it was rated great, I'll give it fight of the night. Um. What about submission of the night or knockout of the night? Let's see. I, I think I got to give knockout of the night to uh, Latifi. Yeah, yeah. Latifi gets knockout of the night for sure. Um, Yeah, I'll give Kavi a submission of the night too. He was able to do it pretty damn quick. Yeah, that, that looks good to me. All right, cool. Seems good to me. That's cool. That's cool. Damn, Dos Anjos made $660,000. didn't even win. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. All right, whoa, what's this? Oh. Die. Yeah, watch me show. Oh, shit, no. Get out. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. My bad. All right, so it's it's gonna load up some stuff here. Um, I thought like watch main show it was gonna say like only watch uh like I thought it was only gonna make me watch. Damn it! Get out of here. Return to start. Oh, yeah, skip to end. Yeah, I fucked up and I didn't mean to do that. My bad. <laughs> blah blah blah. No one cares. Oh, now I gotta skip through all this shit. God damn it. I thought, like, watch me show it, man. It was gonna, um. I thought it was gonna, like, only be like, oh, only watch your shows. Like, your main show. Like, that's not what I meant. Oh, look, yo, Dominic Steele here. He used to be in the UFC. That's cool, that's cool. Come on, let me get out of here. Cool, title fight. No one cares. Yo, two seconds left in the fifth round. That's pretty wild, actually. Excellent fight, too. Wow. Let me get no excellent fights. Yo, get out of here. Split decision. Cool, whatever. Alright, so yeah, like there's a bunch of other organizations. Like, uh, since I have this mod downloaded, I have... Uh, Make sure. <laughs> Get out of here. Um. So yeah, like it, there's all the other organizations like Real Life, like Bellator and all that.
negotiations, try to sign guys from other companies or whatever, sign guys that are free agents. I tried to sign Brock Lesnar, and it wouldn't let me, like, even select him. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you can't look at him in the UFC roster. I don't know how to look up a fighter properly in here. It's complicated for some reason. Um, but there was a thing where I was looking at, I was, like, looking at Cain Velasquez, and then, like, it's a jump to, like, you jump to another fighter, and I saw Brock's name, so I'm like, all right, bet. I picked Brock Lesnar's name, and it did nothing. Literally nothing happened, and I don't understand why. Because you can, like, talk to guys that are retiring, like, hey, come out of retirement and fight, you know? Like, you can ask them to come out of retirement. And that's what I was going to do. I was definitely going to go to Brock and be like, yo, come over and fight. I'll have him fight Francis Nagano or some shit. But yeah, so like it, it'll do like this all all this processing like you can see up here. You know, going through shows and fighters and stuff. It takes a lot of time uh, to process a month. I'll make a show for Saturday week one of March. And when I was skipping there, it took forever. I don't recommend that. If you can set up a show sooner than that, it took so, so long to do that. God. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you a couple more things here, and then I'll end the video. I'm just waiting for all this to skip. Like, this is just one day that it's doing. <laughs> this is just one day. It takes a while. That's something I would love to see worked on is this take. I would love for this to take a lot less time. It probably takes more time because I have a mod downloaded on it. Um, but I want you, I want you guys to get the full experience. Like this is what you're going to expect. This is what you guys are going to see. I'm not going to try to hide anything from you guys or whatever. Like this is, this is what you guys are, you know, you need to expect this kind of stuff. It's going to take a lot of time to load and stuff, but it's a lot of fun to play. It really is. So, jeez, oh, look at this. So, it does the hirings. I think the hirings is, like, the last part of it uh, simulating to the next day. I think it is, at least. I'm not too, too sure. Um... But yeah, like this random profile for Vitor Belfort. It'll do that for like every fighter. It'll just, it'll just randomly bring up a profile and it'll tell you about them and stuff. And I like that. And like it sometimes it's like really detailed. Like this one, like it's pretty damn detailed. Why is it stuck on KOTC? Are you fucking kidding me? No. Why is it doing that? Why? If this has happened before and it fixed itself like right away. Like I had to keep doing this and it kept fixing itself. So we'll just give it a second here. Because when I was like skipping through that first month, this is exactly what it did. Come on, motherfucker. Yeah, like, the game needs, like, an update or something, because there's, you know, there's this problem that likes to occur a little too often. Alright, there we go, there we go, see? Didn't take that long, and see, I got email here. What is this? Oh, it joins BJ Penn's MMA, alright. Yeah, it likes to tell me a lot about that. Alright, so there's, a. Uh, contract renewals here so we're gonna go ahead okay i think i have to go to decisions here right, let me close this out let me go to decisions no what the fuck why wouldn't that be there oh i think i just had to go out to her and go to negotiate i think let me see go to her i'll show you guys this real quick yeah see then you can go ahead and sign our contract i like calderwood a lot I'm going to give her a four fight contract, though. Yeah, three of those four can be guaranteed. 
I'm kind of just going to go ahead and ask if this is okay with her. <laughs> Address signing bonus. Uh, I'll give her more than that. I'll give her two grand. Nah, I won't cut her. Uh, make offer. Let's try it. Oh. 290, 290. Oh, okay. Um, I'll make it even better. I'll give you three grand. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so my offer's been made. She'll review it and then get back to me in a couple days or something. So I got done with her, and I'll, I'll talk to them eventually, but I'm not going to do that on the video right now. So um, if you go to matchmaking this is where you can make a show so you go to add show and you do all this stuff and you know put it on a local show marketing level or whatever and then there'll be like an option to you know plus you know like add fight and then you add a fight and you know i'll go ahead and just make a show real quick like i won't blah 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 blah, blah. i'm not actually gonna make like a real show right now I just want to do it real quick just to show you. So let's save it. Too soon. All right, whatever. Give March there. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> what about week four? God damn it, no. Week four. Will that work? Apparently, that's too sh soon. So we're just going to go ahead and do April. The first week, I think you can do a month in advance. All right, cool. So then you just do add a fight, and you can go through all the weight classes, choose which one you want, and choose a fight and make it like I can just boom Gaethje versus Barboza. That'd be actually a really cool fight too in real life. Um, yeah, so that, that's just how you do it, and then you can set it as a prelim fight or main card fight. And yeah, you can go to your office here, look at your finances, drug testing, all this stuff. The absences, they'll tell you like who's hurt and stuff. Yeah, apparently uh, Quinn is recuperating. Anderson Silva got uh, suspended. Nogira got suspended. Velasquez is injured. Yeah, you know, get all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm definitely going to be making more videos and do streams and, st and stuff on this uh, game. Because, you know, again, like I really enjoy playing it. So make sure you guys hit that um, like button. Also comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about the game. Again, I want to thank Greydog Software for sending me the game for free. Very, very grateful that happened. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube. Make sure you guys check out Greydog Software and buy the game for yourself. I'll go ahead and leave a link for them in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.